All right, so we want to figure out the probability that in the situation of a death, a pedestrian death randomly selected, that the pedestrian was intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated, but um, not both. So what that means is some of these kind of overlap where uh, it says they're both intoxicated. So like the top left one, that um, some of that could bleed over into the or cases. So in order to solve for this, where we figure out where it's just either or, um, we got the following equation here. So we'll make probability A equal to the pedestrians. <laughs> so what that's going to be is... Um, so we'll take uh, total pedestrian intoxication. So you got to be careful how you read this. So we're looking up from pedestrians here. It's just this row here. So it's going to be um, 67 plus 255 all over um, everything. So this ends up being, so this is 953. So what we get for P of A is um, 322 over 953. All right, so probability of B, same concept. So it's going to be instead here, it's driver. So it's going to be um, 67 plus 90. Yeah, so drivers know that it's in their best interest never to drink and drive. So 90, so that ends up being 157 over 953. So finally, um, the case where it's uh, P of A and B it's going to be equal to um, 77 over 953. It's, oh, oops, that's not right. It should be 67. It's where they both overlap, and it says they're both intoxicated, which is the top left. So 67. All right, so total it's going to be 322 over 953 um, plus 157 over 953, and then minus the 67 over 953. And what we end up with is approximately 0 0.432319. And I'm just going to round it to the thousandths. So I end up with 0 0.432. And that's it. That's, um, that's the probability that um, in a wreck, it was either the pedestrian that was intoxicated or the driver, but not both. All right. Hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.